Good morning, Father Matt Frisbee. Oh, Father Matt, how are you? <laughs> Hello, morning, Father. Dave. Hey, good morning, Dave and Ron. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Well, I, I'm getting by. You know, yeah. the Browns. <laughs> it's not been a cu- it's not been really a kind couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah, they really crashed and burned there Saturday, and uh, nothing went right. Really, uh, you know, maybe the first quarter did, and that was about it. I just saw. Uh, you know, I don't know. I got to tell you, when, I, when I'm watching a football game, here's what I'm hoping for, and maybe it's maybe it's the uh, the, the NASCAR in me that's waiting for the crash. Yeah, I, I'm watching for interceptions, and I think they're just fun to watch. <laughs> well, if you like that, well, a lot of those. That was an entertaining game. If you if you enjoy those. <laughs> well, yeah, they're entertaining. If the Browns are on the uh, receiving yeah. end of the interception, you know. Yeah, yeah that it was. Uh, that really turned the game two pick sixes, and the, the score didn't indicate in any way how competitive the game was early on. Well, that's right. You know, the game was 24-14. Houston did have this lead. Um, and the Browns were moving the ball there, and Joe Flacco gets hit. The ball hangs up in the air. The ball gets intercepted by Houston. And there is no one from Cleveland on that side mm. of the field to uh, – tackle so he goes 80 yards for a pick six and then on the next drive it happens again it's 38 14 and uh the route is on at that point mm. and uh you know and now i'll just say officiating did not do anything in this game but in the first half things that could have even had that score maybe a little closer you know the the horribly missed pass interference on david and joku and then <clears throat> as we saw get gets called uh, yesterday on Josh Allen when he slid. Um, oh, Joe yeah. Flacco goes to slide. He gets hit. Yeah. Um, no call, you know. Yeah. So those are things that ended drives for the Browns that maybe in the first half of those drives brought about uh, scoring. We see a closer game. But the defense was really routed. I mean, an interesting stat for the Browns. Number one defense when they played at home. Worst defense on the road. Isn't that um, something? Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is something. It's very interesting. And, uh, you know, so stuff to work on. And, uh, you know, maybe what's a little better. I'm very happy for Baker Mayfield. He had a great game. Oh, my goodness, guy. yeah. Um, and the Buccaneers beat up the Eagles, who have not been good for the last month and a half or so. Um, but you watch this and you say, where was this Baker Mayfield when he played for the Browns? Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, interesting weekend, the NFL playoffs, um, especially then also the Lions' big win over the Rams uh, Sunday. So they move on. They host uh, Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers this upcoming weekend. And uh, the yeah. other big NFL game. And we can talk about the Lions, but the other big NFL game over the weekend that's worth noting, the Packers with the huge upset route of the Cowboys, which no one is upset. Yeah, and I was surprised. Jerry Jones came out yesterday and said Mike McCarthy's safe. I thought, well, my goodness. I mean, they, they got well, annihilated. Give it, time. give it time, Dave. You know, he said <laughs> that earlier. <laughs> <time. laughs> yeah, that, that's a mess over there. Uh, but uh, going back to the Lions – and the Rams game, that that game lived up to all of the uh, excitement about it. Those two quarterbacks going head to head golf uh, versus uh, Stafford, and they really kind of showed up. I mean, that was a fun game to watch. That was probably the best game of the uh, wild card weekend for yeah. the NFL. I mean, that was just really a, uh, a a great game. Lions with the win, their first playoff victory in thirty two years. Uh, so good for the Lions, certainly in our area. We hope that they uh, keep on going. And, uh, you know, I think they do have a pretty good chance here of uh, then playing an NFC Championship. We can't assume anything. they gotta, they got to beat Tampa Bay. But, uh, you know, things are looking good for them. And as a Buckeye fan, you have to say, and obviously we wish it wouldn't have been against the team that it was against, but C.J. Stroud showing strong all year long, showing mm-hmm. strong in the playoffs as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, really good game, really good season from him. Um, and you think the future's got to be bright. Um, I thought he was the best quarterback coming in the draft last year and should have been picked number one overall. But it's a good thing 
who's picked by the Texans uh, and, because, you know, Carolina's kind of a mess. No chance at a Kelsey Kelsey Super Bowl this year. And in fact, it looks like he might be done telling teammates, Jason, that is, telling teammates after the loss he is going to hang it up. Yeah, long career. Very, very good career. Excellent career. Yeah. Um, you know, some people want to say the best center of all time. I think we should pump the brakes on that. Uh, but, you know, you got to think he's up there, too. I mean, multiple All-Pro, multiple Pro Bowl, Super Bowl winner. Um, I think out of 193 games he could have played in, he started all 193 of them. So that that also is a big test yeah. to his longevity. And, um and some of those games, I'm glad we were watching them on TV and not there. Buffalo yeah. and Kansas City. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo, Ooh, no doubt. Yeah, Prayers thanks, con- uh, that'll wear you out, those many games. Prayers continue for Harbaugh to get a good NFL job. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Father. Have a great day. God bless.